Hi everyone, welcome to the Spring Framework Bootcamp. In this video, let's solve questions, few Spring questions for the phase one topics. Okay, that means IOC, dependency injection, bean scope, life cycle, and spring annotations. Okay, let's start it. Okay, so our first question is there is a student result interface. Okay, there is a student result interface, fine with two implementations undergrad result and postgrad result undergrad result and postgrad result okay so there is a student result interface and these are the two classes which is implementing a student result okay fine now the student result has been injected into a student a student result has been injected into a student okay here here fine using at auto wire annotations okay so a student result injected in a student using at auto wire fine on the result field on the result field but the application gives a no unique bean definition exception okay while calling the bean of undergrad at runtime fine so what changes should be made in the student class to rectify the error okay see pause the video and solve it yourself okay fine so let's analyze the problem let's analyze the problem so the application gives a no unique bean definition exception fine a student result is injected and a student result okay fine 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 got it simple very simple the answer is at qualifier and the idea of undergrad yeah why because see here there are two classes which is implementing student result student result at the runtime spring is confused spring is confused like in the result in the result variable which bean should come bean of undergraduate or postgraduate because both are implementing student result student result so spring is confused that's why we have to explicitly mention add qualifier and the id okay fine so answer is add qualifier and the id of whatever class okay next question next question is which is the correct annotation based implementation of the below xml configuration okay so here is given the XML configuration fine which is the correct annotation based implementation implementation okay fine so first let's check the IDs student and the class is college student class is college student no class is yes yes and no fine so these two because class is college student now the ID should be student component and ID should be student okay I should be student okay fine now the scope is singleton and scope is prototype so this is the correct answer why because here they have not explicitly mentioned the scope is prototype so by default the scope is singleton that's why it is the correct answer okay fine so this is the correct answer next okay fine what modification is required to make result a dependency of the student without using constructor injection okay so I can see there are two classes student and result okay and it's a spring configuration XML configuration what modification is required to make result result a dependency of a student a dependency of student without using constructor injection okay so here he is using constructor injection without using constructor injection okay simple simple very simple very simple what you need to do is add auto add that's all yeah that's all okay fine so the answer is add auto wire okay next 
okay next question is can the add component annotation be used with the abstract class or interface yeah so it's also a uh, somewhat good question fine so he's asking us that can the add component annotation add component annotation be used with the abstract class or interface okay so yes we can use it okay we can use add component we can use add component on interface or abstract class but there is one condition only if concrete subclass concrete subclass that means a class implementing this interface subclass concrete subclass also annotated with the add component fine so that is what he is asking us okay he is asking us that he is asking us can add component annotation be used with the abstract or interface okay so the options are the abstract class or interface cannot be no 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 yes yeah it is correct yes and the abstract class or interface can be instantiated as a bean if concrete subclass also annotated with the component okay so c is the correct answer fine remember this this uh, note point fine next okay next question question number 5 which of the yeah one more thing one more thing just give me some suggestions uh, answer me is it not more interactive and more interesting when will go live like suppose if this session will be live then i am displaying the questions and you are giving me answer in the chat box okay and if some of you have any doubt then i'll clarify your doubt immediately at that point of time so that will be more interactive and an interesting session right so just do one thing do one thing give me some suggestions in the comment box like for the next topics for uh, hibernate cred operations for rest api okay and the rest template you want the sessions similarly recorded or the live sessions okay especially interview questions fine so just give me and write in the comment box okay okay so let's see the question number 5 which of the following describe the behavior of spring add auto wire annotations when multiple beans of the same type are available multiple okay fine it will randomly select one of the available no never it will inject all the available beans no it will throw no unique bean definition exception if multiple bean of the same type are found and no qualifier yeah correct it will throw this exception when no add qualifier is present okay we have seen question number 1 it will automatically create and inject no so c is correct fine next okay what will be xml configuration for implementing the bean life cycle of the given code bean life cycle of the given code okay so he wants xml okay so init method destroy method okay fine simple very simple so first let's create a bean and then id so id would be let's take a student okay and then class attribute where we'll write the fully qualified class name okay some com dot something and then he wants b life cycle okay that means init and destroy method so we will we'll write init method equals the method name which is init method okay and destroy method and the method name destroy method fine and done so this is the answer like this is the xml configuration for b life cycle methods this is the init method and destroy method for this yeah yeah correct we have already seen okay so this is the answer of it next question uh, it's also a simple question which of the following statement is true about at scope annotations it can only be used with at auto wire it can only be used on interfaces no 
it can be used on any class managed by spring container yeah yeah it can only be used on primitive data no it can used on any class managed by spring fine so c is the correct answer next yeah you have to solve it fine see let's see the question if the below application gives following output what is the scope of my b that means it is asking that see this is the my bin class here is the main application okay and we are getting this output so if if below application gives the following output what is the scope of my bin either it is prototype or either it is scope sorry singleton either prototype or singleton okay you have to answer in the comment box fine let me do it see here so in my bin there is one static variable and instance fine and then there is no argument constructor where instant count that is static variable is initializing and is storing in id okay and then printing this and there is one more method do something fine in the main method we are calling context dot get bin okay we are getting the bean my bean so let's consider the id is my bean okay so after executing this line instant count become plus 1 okay and id equals plus 1 so here it is printing 1 1 fine now again we are calling context dot get bean okay so now instance count become plus 2 only if only if the scope is prototype yeah scope is prototype fine so the scope should be prototype so instance count become 2 okay id is equals id equals 2 and so it becomes 2 and do something 2 so here 2 2 okay fine so the scope should be prototype okay hmm fine okay so this is what the uh, he is asking us to find out okay next question somewhat good question okay okay next question is what is the purpose of add component annotation in spring framework okay it creates an instance of the annotated class as a bean in the spring container it create the instance yeah correct when annotated on any class indicates the indicate the scope no never it marks a class as a component to be automatically detected and configured by spring yeah correct absolutely correct and yeah so answer is a and c fine uh yeah a and c okay fine okay so this is what all about the questions a few questions of first four topics okay you can see first four topics ioc dependency injection bean scope life cycle and the annotations fine so this is a few questions i have collected and uh, you can see we have already solved all the questions okay so this is just a few output and coding question okay okay so these are the few questions okay just let you know that okay this type of questions will come from these topics fine so i hope you enjoy the video and if you enjoy the video then please subscribe okay please subscribe and uh, like share and thank you